Hey guys, my name is Kent and you're watching Dia Graphics. Today we're going to take a look at how to save your artwork after you have drawn it on a blank canvas and which file type you want to use if you want to use AI, EPS, PDF, JPEG or PNG. So first thing first, how do you actually save your artwork after drawing it on a blank piece of canvas. So I'm sure a lot of beginners have tried this. You are done drawing your artwork and now you want to save it. So what you do is just go to file and save as and choose whatever file type you want. Then you go to your document you want to use it in and you place it in like this and you just choose your file. Click OK. And now you got this artwork. Yes, that's fine. But you also got this enormous amount of blank space around it and you don't want it you just want a very clean artwork with no space around so how do you actually do this i will show you right now so getting rid of this blank space around your artwork is actually very very simple the only thing you need to do is just select your artwork then go to objects go to artboards and then go to fit to artwork bounce this will shrink the artboard to only fit the artwork. So next thing you want to do is save it. So which file type do you want to save it as? I will show you right now. So the AI EPS and PDF is found under save as. The Adobe Illustrator file, the AI file, is the Illustrator native file, which means it can only be opened inside Adobe Illustrator. But you always want to choose this file as the first thing you save your project as. This will be the file you can go to later and edit whatever you want to edit. The Illustrator EPS file is nearly the same as the Adobe Illustrator file. The difference is that EPS can be opened from many different vector programs, including free programs. So this file type is great if you want to send it to a colleague or a friend who doesn't have Adobe Illustrator. The Adobe PDF can be opened by anyone even though they don't have a vector program. So if you, for example, have a logo, you always want to save a copy in PDF because you can use that everywhere without restrictions. The thing these three file types has in common is that they are keeping your artwork in vectors. This is very important if you want to scale your artwork up and down without losing quality. You can't do that with a JPEG or a PNG. So always choose one of these files if you want to scale it. So the next two file types is JPEG and PNG and you'll find these under export. So as you can see right here, the JPEG and the PNG. So the JPEG is used when you want your artwork in pixels or you want to use it somewhere that don't support vector files, such as the internet. If you want to make a web banner, you can do that in JPEG. PNG is doing the exact same thing as the JPEG, but you'll be able to have a transparent background. You can't do that in JPEG. So if your artwork has some kind of transparency in it, you want to use the PNG file. That's the difference between these two file types. What these two file types has in common is that they're based on pixels and you can't just scale them up and down as much as you want without losing quality. So be careful about that. So that's how you save your artwork and which file type you want to save it as. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.